I'm gutless? Oh, I'm sorry. Have we met? I'm the villain of every story. Guilty until proven innocent, even if by some miracle we did change. Who's gonna believe us, huh? Aaron, I have to say that he loved the story and we haven't got a chance to explore the books yet, but that might have to be our next step. Well, I hope so. <laughs> you yeah. should. So this is more of the graphic novel side. So talk to me about what it meant to you to see your, your novel adapted. It's the most wonderful thing that's ever happened. I mean, it's, it's, it's such a thrill. And, you know, it, when an author hands over their work to be turned into a movie, it doesn't always work out the way they hope. You know, the, the history of Hollywood is littered with adaptations that authors weren't happy with. And I'm very pleased to say I'm in that select group of people who are just overwhelmed and deeply proud of what has been achieved. I, I genuinely feel like I don't want to be hit by a bus today, but if I was and that was it, then I would go, well, I, they made a really cool movie out of my books. And I think that that's a pretty wonderful thing to be able to say. Absolutely. And Pierre, you know, you have a background in animation, so it was in good hands um, for these bad guys to, to be brought to screen. So talk to me about what it meant to, to direct the, the animation. It's, it's not something I ever, you know, that was even in my wildest dreams, really. But it, it happened so naturally in a way where, you know, I had a long, long career at DreamWorks uh, where I'd been doing so many different things, mostly as an animator and supervising animator and head of animation. I mean, doing so many things. And, um, and, and, and one day I discovered what it is to direct on a short film uh, with a baby bird. And, and then I stumbled upon uh, Aaron's book um, that was actually, you know, the rights had just been purchased by the studio. And I'm like, like mesmerized by that first cover, you know, of that first book. I'm like, oh my God, I know exactly, you know, I know that universe, I know that world. I, the idea is so big, you know, to me, it's the, it's the kind of big idea, like Toy Stories type of big ideas, you know, it's like giant. And it was, it was so clear for me what, what uh, that movie would be or what it could be. Uh, and then, and then we start working on it and then I meet Aaron and it's like, oh my God, this guy's amazing too. So it was like, it was kind of, a, you know, catching lightning in a bottle in a way, you know, where you're like, everything is lining up and it was kind of meant to be, you know, and, uh, so proud of it. So proud of it. One of the things that was really fun as we were watching is, um, Aaron, I love how it's still sophisticated. So like people on my age, parents and kids can all enjoy it. And we kept going through and the twists were fantastic. Like, oh, they're bad. No, they're good. No, they're still pretending to be bad. You know, so it was like kind of interactive as well. Talk to me about, about writing across, you know, many age levels. Well, the and, and look, a lot of those twists and turns have, uh, are not necessarily from the book. Some are, some aren't. But when I write my books, I constantly have an eye on on both kids and parents because it's uh, reading in in home with kids is a is a shared experience as you know and it's something that you want kids to and what i love about the bad guys what i love hearing about it is that families will often read it but then parents will hear kids off in a bedroom laughing because they're reading and everything that's the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to me in my life really is hearing that that is is something that takes place so yeah it is something that it has to work on both levels otherwise and and especially when it's turned, well not especially i was going to say especially when turned into a movie but as far as i'm concerned a book has to work the same way too and um that's the game for me, is trying to figure out how to achieve that Yes. And, you know, Pierre, you had a fantastic um, voice cast that was able to turn these characters, you know, bring them to life. And then I love the themes that were a part of it, too, and, and seeing them explore what good and bad means within themselves and others. So maybe talk a little bit about that. Well, I think that was that was like the most important thing for us is like, how do you explore that theme that feels like so, first of all, topical and, and, and inspiring, you know, but you these characters are characters that grew up thinking that they are bad because everybody just decided that they were bad. Um, is there a real reason for it? Probably not, but that's the way it is. And so they, they, they are pitied as bad and therefore because everybody wants them to be bad, we're going to be bad. And they decided to be the baddest of the baddest, you know? Uh, and one day, you know, shark get, the, uh, shark wolf gets that feeling, you know, of tail wag and he realizes how amazing it is. And so, that's the beginning of the journey for him. And just, he, he, he takes all his friends with him. And I think to me, that theme is incredibly important. It's about redemption. It's about, you know, not being stuck in one specific life, but having the opportunity to change if you need to, if you want to. 
and it's also about giving second chances about like being you know uh being very aware uh, or very careful about stereotyping and, and judging someone without knowing more about them you know and that's all of those are so such important values that i think we should you know pass on as a message for for younger generations you know and um and i think that you know again that was from straight from aaron's you know first first book really and and for him it was like in the first five pages you know of the book is like the big bad wolf says i'm gonna go good and you know exactly what it means you know exactly what it means for the movie we decided to go a little bit before that and just what is, what are the steps leading to that point um but I think it's the funnest part of it, you know. What is that turn? What is that shift for the big bad wolf? Um, and and it's so it's so iconic in a way, using that character specifically, you know. Yeah, absolutely. The importance of you know speaking positive words around our, our children of course, and, our, of course. and our families too. So thank you guys so much for taking the time. I loved it. I cannot wait for audiences to enjoy it. Of course, Kelly. Thank you so much. Later. Okay. Bye.